Well, before I head on over to the uh, Samsung stage in a bit and we get Danny O'Dwyer back here, but we're finishing on a great one. So if any of you guys are fans of Killer Instinct, we have the guys producing Killer Instinct Season 2, which is like the next additional bit of content for the free play game. So welcome to the stage. Thanks. I've already forgotten your name. This is awful. Don't worry oh, about I'm it. So glad. Glad. Nice to meet you. Nice and your to name see you. is? Cameron. Let's, Cameron, nice is, to meet let's you. Let's pretend this is our first introduction yeah, 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 yeah. ever. Is this Dave? Yeah. So David. Tell for people at home who maybe used to play Killer Instinct and um, sure. or haven't got back into it you know, with the new game, explain how it all works. It's free to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it go? So Killer Instinct launched with the original Xbox One. It was like one of the launch titles. It launched with six characters, and they kept adding content, different game modes, more characters over the course of the first season. And then people responded really, really well to that stuff. They liked the free-to-play nature of the game. They liked the constant stream of content. And Microsoft wanted to keep it going, and so they like, lit up another season of it. So we're working on eight more characters right now. You can buy them basically however you want. You can get them all at once in one bundles. Uh, if you want to try them, there's always like one free in rotation at all times. So you're not even sure you like the game. You can basically download like a $60 game for free, play with it for as long as you want, and then decide if you want to buy it later. It's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of like a very similar model to, like, say, at a League of Legends, for example. Yeah, it's you a very have your, similar model. Your free character on rotation. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So has that, has that been something you guys have been thinking about for a long time and be like, well, you know what? Well, you know, oh. I know Microsoft's been wanting to get into yeah. free-to-play for a long time. Like, they did Happy Wars was kind of their first foray into it. Um, they've done some other stuff, but I think, like, this is the... This game, it really makes a ton of sense for, right? Because there's this kind of established fighting game community. Um, we know, you know, they love the games they love, and they're a little reluctant to spend 60 bucks to try something brand new, right? Yep. And so this really gives them no excuse not to go out and try a brand new game. And, you know, maybe they love it, maybe they don't, but they get to try it before they know. You know, it's pretty awesome. Cool. Well, we're going to dive into some of the details of Season 2 in just a bit. But remember, if you're watching at home and you've got some questions, either throw them down there in the GameSpot chat or you can tweet them directly at me, at Cam Frasmerov, and I will throw them at David and he can try and knock them out of the yeah, park. Yeah, well, well, I don't know about the whole... <laughs> well, you can try. Well, yeah, we we'll see what happens. All right, we we'll give it a shot. Either's yeah. fine by me. No promises, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's, let's have a think about some of the, like, what you bringing you then in Season 2. Yeah. So, I mean, the super cool thing about, like, us taking on Season 2 from Double Helix is, like, they had, they, the game they made was awesome. It was so fun, mechanics yeah. were so sound. So this is the previous studio who yeah, were working yeah. on it so now. Yeah, so Double Helix was worked on season one, and then they got bought by Amazon and they couldn't work on it anymore. Yeah. We have a lot of fighting game uh, stuff in our, we've done a lot of stuff with Capcom, did Dive Kick. Yeah. Basically a really deep love of fighting games in the studio, so kind of natural to pair us up with it. And it's really awesome when you can start with something that's established and really cool, and then you just get to put more awesome stuff on top of it. It's like the best sandwich you've ever had. And <laughs> I then know, you get that's to a pretty good sandwich. No, but imagine that, right? It's okay. an amazing sandwich. I'm there. And I'm you there. can bring it home and then put more stuff on it that you love from your own kitchen. Perfect. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yes. Okay, cool. So what kind of, well, tell me about some of this additional stuff you're putting yeah, in this sure. delicious sandwich. So for season two, uh, what we're showing here at E3 is we've got TJ Combo. He's a throwback character from the original KI series. Okay. Fans might remember him. We got TJ Stage, and we're also saying there's going to be seven other characters in season two. Not announcing who they are yet or what they're doing. We got TJ Combo right TJ here. TJ in yeah. action. There you go. So TJ's a rushdown character. He's got a whole set of moves to get in close, stay close, and do a lot of damage. Um, he's got the tremor. He can recapture. What he basically one of the things in Killer Instinct season one, it was pretty easy for, to get some characters in the air. Then once you had them in the air, it was hard to juggle them or you couldn't really do much with them. So TJ's got this recapture juggler, mechanic he? where you kind of keep a combo going yeah, once a character's go. airborne and it's tons of fun. So Perfect example um, right there. Yeah, so we got seven more characters. We're not talking about all the other ones yet. We're still trying to decide, like, who do we want to do? How will we make them, like, awesome, put our own stamp on it, right? And so uh, in addition to that, we got more game modes, more stages, uh, improvements to online, a whole ton of stuff. It's going to be awesome. Cool. I thought, let's, let's watch that again, actually, because that was over quite yeah. quick. And uh, there was a hell of a hell of action I could watch that there. all day. I got nowhere to go. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so TJ's like, he? he's a really simple character to okay. play too. He's kind of like um, Saber Wolf in that he's like not super execution heavy. He's basically a left, right, and up, down character on the joystick. You don't need to do any crazy 720 twists on the stick or anything. He's really simple to play, but he's super, super fun and rewarding. So he's got his, his signature moves are he's got the power line, which we saw there, and he canceled into a roll. The power line can basically close a lot of difference really quick. Um, there you saw the shadow tremor. Uh, and then we'll see if we get a recapture here in a minute. Um, so yeah, the recapture is when he grabs them and then throws them back over his shoulder and slams them on the yeah. ground. That's, that's his uh, tackle move. It's really fun to do. Cool. So. Um, can he dive kick? 
Uh, not in this one. We're still working on it. Are you going to bring Dive Kicking into any of these characters? The way the, thing you so do? It's a little early for that. I don't want to make any promises. You vote, but vote it for me. Yeah, no, when, when, when this is a breakout financial success and we're doing season 10, 11, 12, somewhere down the road, all right. that's when I'm sure you can see Dive Kick Mr. N. They'll all make an appearance. I all guarantee right, cool. it. That's well, the Iron Galaxy guarantee. All right, you heard it here first, right? Dive Kicking yeah. by season 10. Season 10. Let's take some it. questions from the chat. So we have quite a few in here. This is great. Um, Sunny7878 says, will you keep updating and tweaking season one characters, question mark? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, fighting games are all about balance, and you need to make sure that players play well in this ecosystem. Like, so we're going to have to, just by the nature of adding more characters, keep tweaking it. Basically, this is a community feedback-driven game. Microsoft from day one has been super, super good about listening to the community, hearing what they want, what they like, what they don't like, and kind of tuning the game around that. And we're very much in the same mindset there. So, yeah, we're going to be, as we roll out new characters, you know, we're going to be, I'm sure people get mad, oh, you nerfed Jago, you did this to this guy, and we'll take it all in and make adjustments as we need to. Cool, cool. All right, I think we've got another one here as well. Uh, tons of questions coming in the chat. Where'd it go? I've marked it. Okay, here we go. So, um, someone's wondering if you might be bringing uh, demos back as a way of showing off some of your characters. So he says, uh, if you want people to try your game, why not go back to the days of demos? To me, it's become a lost thing. How do you feel about uh, demos? Well, I mean, in effect, a free-to-play game, the whole game is the demo, is, right? right? Yeah. And so uh, for this one, it's kind of like, you know, there might be a way, uh, maybe, oh, I'd like to try them all at once or whatever, but you'll get to see them online. Go play some matches online with whoever's available that week. You'll get to see a character, find one you like, and, you know, either wait it out or plop down five bucks. Cool. Yeah. We got actually a question here directly about um, TJ Combos. So, how did it, like exactly how did you go about, and what did it take to redesign him for for Killer yeah. So Microsoft had a lot of really good thoughts on how they wanted. Uh, so the team of Microsoft's awesome. They're super like involved in the project. They okay. really are. Pal like Ken Lobb and those guys, right? Ken's one of the original creators. Of course, he's got some thoughts about how TJ should work, right? And so right in the beginning, like about two months ago, when we really got going on this stuff, we sat down with all those guys and like, hey, here's what we think is essential to TJ. And then they kind of let us start with that base and kind of massage it a little bit and put our own tweaks on it. And uh, we were making tweaks like right up until the very, right until this build, we locked it down like on Friday. You know, change, make, make it put a little more invincibility on the roll, make sure the power line tremor does a little more knockdown, all that kind of stuff. So, cool. Yeah. All righty. And again, just, just keep coming. I'm just going to keep throwing sure. them at you. This is great. Okay. Um, where was it going? Okay. Will there be stage enders? Uh, we're not talking about any game features or new additions other than TJ okay. Combo, but you know that's something fans always ask for, and we listen to people and what they want. Okay. So, so um, are you guys gonna be working on uh, kind of future seasons as well? Is that, is that the plan? Are you, you know, have right, this yeah, right for now that? we're just focused on what's in front of us and getting these eight characters, the eight new characters, yep. um, as amazing as they can be and super super fun and kind of putting our own stamp on Ki. I would love to do this game forever. I think it's really fun. Uh, but you know, ultimately, the fans will decide how much of it we do. Okay. And um, wh when can people actually get get on? See oh, oh, it's Danny no. O'Dwyer. <laughs> hey, Hello, here Danny. he is. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm not mic'd up yet. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> while, while Danny sits down. This has officially gone off the rails. Yeah, yeah. This You're happens. Right He's yeah, invading. Well. The Irish, the Irish oh, no. are always invading. He's sabotaging my set. <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we, are there do-overs on this? Can we do-overs? Yeah, it's no. not live or anything. It's no. fine. Definitely not live. God damn hey, it, Danny. O'Dwyer. Right, John Drake said on oh, the Giant Bomb. Oh, fuck Bob, John Drake. On the Giant Bomb stream last night, he said that you were, you were working on a deal today. You were signing a deal. Yeah, today. yeah, deals. Yeah. So here's the, here's the way John Drake thinks deals happen. John Drake thinks you show up in a meeting at E3 yeah. and you tell someone about a game idea and then they say yes and they hand you one sheet and you sign it and yeah. then you get money. He thinks that's how deals happen. So I kind of constructed this whole backstory about, yeah, no, tomorrow I got like three deals I'm going to pitch and sign all in one meeting. So it's not this process that takes months or maybe years. Right. I do it in a weekend because I'm that good. And yeah. he, he ended up with the spoon. <laughs> yeah. So. You sure? You sure he just didn't like screw up all three of your deals? Well, no, he doesn't know about The only one he knows about is... <laughs> so I, you know, I can't, you know, what are you going to do, right? right? Really? That's the only one he could screw up. That, that's super hot. That's incredible. Don't be, don't be like that, Danny. So you and Ed Boone signed that off today, is that right? Ed, no, different Ed Boone. All right. It's a different Ed Boone. Ned the, Boone. Yeah, Ned. no, it's Ed Boone from Monticello. It's not the same Ed Boone. All right, apparently, apparently my the, mic's apparently not shouting loud enough. There you go, show Danny. What are you guys talking about? Dive kick too, is it? Uh, <laughs> nope, we're just talking well, about like, Killer Instinct, Oh, actually. yeah, yeah. He did confirm we would have dive kick by about season 10. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah we're okay. going to get dive kick in Killer Instinct. When the game yeah. turns into a breakout success, a financial runaway hit, I'm sure Microsoft will come begging for us to put dive kick characters in. So. But yeah, we're in there. You, so. you enjoying your E3 so far? It's great, man. We got 
KI over at the Microsoft booth. We got eight stations of fun for TJ. We got Dive Kick over in the indie area. People getting to play that on Xbox for the first time. Uh, it's oh been yeah, amazing. I'm super, super pumped. Yeah, it's been really fun. Are you gonna be? Uh, are you gonna spread your love across all of the CBS family of video game websites? I'm uh, supposed to go to Giant yep. Bomb tonight at eight. Tonight? So, yeah. Ah. So I should be nice and sober. I should be fine. There should be no problems. It'll be uneventful, I'm sure. So there's not gonna be a lot of suits at tonight's show, I hear. See this? That's the <laughs> money maker. That's I mean, what you, happens. Sorry, Cam. You got, no, that's fine. I was gonna say you, you've kind of got the the kind of what I've seen it as the E3 dress code of them. I'm which sorry, is the you jeans, have to work with this guy, by the way. jacket. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Well, he he lives over here in America now. I'm back in the UK, yeah, so we've got enough. quite a few thousand miles between us. So we just about make it work. No, but see, like I have to dress like this to trick people into giving us money. Ah, if I showed up how I normally do, works. we'd never get anything done. No so one would pay me. Is that why I don't have any money? Because I'm not wearing a sea jacket. That's, a, that's uh, one factor. One, one of the yeah. main reasons why yeah, I don't have any money. that's one factor, we'll say. All right. I'm going to go so. buy myself a sea jacket. But I think they told me to wear, sh I stopped wearing shorts on live streams as well. We were banned from wearing shorts yeah. on live streams. Well, yeah, you pan down too much and you're wearing shorts. That's just a bad look. My legs I, look good. The problem was, a couple of days earlier, I'd fallen over drunk, so my legs were all bloody. Yeah. So it checks out. It didn't yeah. give a good image of GameSpot okay. across. Well, well, you know. On that beautiful note, I think we have to wrap it up there. But thanks so much, David. Right. Danny, thank you for your invasion. Anytime. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Yeah. We're still free to Can't invade. Be back tomorrow. In fact, this is, is, is this your stage now? Yeah, I'm taking over. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't right. do it just for shits and giggles. That's cool. Well, guys, yeah. don't go anywhere. Danny will be in the comfy orange chair. I'll be somewhere else. 